Sequences are basically a series of numbers that are governed by some kind of rule, whether it's an arithmetic rule or some sort of pattern. There's always something underlying the sequence. Let's look at an example. So imagine I give you the following sequence, 3, 7, 11, and 15, and I ask you for what is the eighth term in the sequence. Notice we've got the first, second, third, and fourth term. The first thing you would do in this case is you need to find the rule. Then once you find the rule, you need to extrapolate that rule. And by extrapolate, I just mean use the rule to find whatever term you need. So what is the rule here? Well, it looks like the rule is you add 4 to each term as you go. So notice I got plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So let me continue the sequence based off of this. So the next one will be 19, and then we'll see 23, 27, and finally 31, and that's my eighth term. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's my eighth term, so my answer would be 31. So basically you need to, when you're given a sequence, you find the rule, and then you extrapolate it to where you need to go. So another example of this might be a geometric series. Uh, don't worry about that fancy term. Basically a sequence where instead of adding, you're gonna be multiplying. So an example might be something like one, two, four, eight. Notice I'm not adding a constant term to each number. I'm not you know, I'm adding one here, and then I'm adding two, and then I'm adding four. What I'm actually doing is doubling. I'm doubling, doubling, doubling. So if I wanted the eighth term here, I would just continue. I'd get 16, 32, 64, and then 128. Now sometimes you'll be given the rule in the question. So the question itself will tell you in words what the rule is. And you need to then use that rule to extrapolate again. So let's look at an example. The first term of a sequence is five. Each term after the first is three times the previous term. What is the fourth term of the sequence? Okay, so they tell us the rule. Each term is three times the previous. So five times three is 15. 15 times three is 45. And 45 times three is 135. And here's the fourth term, and that would be my answer. So sometimes they give you the rule, just extrap extrapolate as you need. Now there are other examples of sequence questions. There's one in particular that are those kinds of sequence or pattern questions where it seems like the to get the answer is either impossible or will take you a really long time. So for instance, um, questions like a necklace has beads alternating in colors from red, blue, green, yellow, orange, in that order. What is the 76th bead on that necklace? So you might think, oh, do I have to write out all those colors in a row again and again and again? Well, no, there's actually a trick to do it. Um, you know, for example, questions that ask for the 122nd term. And I cover this in some detail in SAT Math Tactics because it matters. You got to look at specific problems to do that. So go ahead and check out SAT Math Tactics for that.